Well, let's go to number 99 on Billboard's Hot 100 the week of July the 20th, 1974. Bring that up for you. Uh, number 99 on Billboard's Hot 100 for 13 weeks, It Could Have Been Me by Sammy Joe. Her biggest hit, Tell Me a Lie. That was a powerful record. Should have been a big country hit, but she never had a top 40 country hit. That's the thing about Sammy Joe. She only had that one big hit, it, Tell Me a Lie. And, of course, uh, the follow-up to that, It Could Have Been Me, was a minor record going as high as number 46 on Billboard's Hot 100 from Arkansas, Batesville, Arkansas. She came under the, uh, oh, gosh, uh, what's the right word? Well, she was discovered or nurtured, for lack of a better word, by Atlantic, Atlanta music legend. Atlanta music legend, his, his name was Sonny Limbo. He co-produced this record, by the way, it could have been me. He connected Sammy Joe with Rick Hall of Muscle Shows. Now, that's promising right there. The Muscle Show Studios, just, just a hotbed of music back in the 60s and early 70s, and... Uh, Loads of people recorded there. Rick Hall, the legendary Rick Hall, Muscle Shows. She recorded some singles where Rick Hall didn't do anything. It's like, dang. But Sonny Limbo did not give up on Sammy Joe. He hooked her up with MGM South, got her a record deal with MGM South, and then Tell Me a Lie came out. That was it. Balled up, it could have been me. And after that, not really any major pop or country hits after that. Uh, she uh, recorded, well, MGM South eventually merged to MGM Records, and she was a trooper. She recorded for MGM Records. She had a minor country hit off uh, of MGM Records, and then when MGM mer merged with Polydor Records, she had a couple of country, minor country hits. Uh, uh, off that record label produced by Jimmy Bowen. I got to double check on this. I'm thinking it might be the same Jimmy Bowen who produced records for Frank Sinatra back in the 60s, but don't quote me on that. It might be a different Jimmy Bowen. But anyway, she left us, well, at least two memorable pop crossovers, Tell Me a Lie, that went to number 21, and of course, it could have been me at number 99 on Billboard's Hot 100, July 20th, 1974.